Okay, everybody, welcome to the back office area here. I just want to show you uh, dot fit and how uh, this works. Basically, when you sign up, you're going to get, um, basically, you're going to submit all of your email and information. Once I see that you've signed up, I'm going to come into dot fit here and create a membership account for you. So that, that account is going to allow me to track your goals, your food, your activities, progress track, uh, trackers, as well as supplementation. And what we'll be able to do is really have, you know, a seamless transparency between, you know, tracking and everything. You can link in your Fitbits and, and all that stuff to it. So once you set all of that up, then you're going to get an email with your password uh, that, you, that you select. I'm sorry, you're going to get an email with the password that we select. I'm going to pre-select a basic uh, generic password for you. And uh, it's good for that because we can both log in. It doesn't uh, create any issues. It creates a really seamless process. So we'll have the password and the username. Send that to you. Uh, then you'll be able to log in. And then you'll see what I've set up for you. Because basically what we'll have to do is when you finish your uh, questionnaires, and uh, all of the assessments, if you're here with me locally and you're able to do the assessment um, or if you're just uh, from a distance, there are certain things I can show you so, so that you can get the assessment numbers and then we can put those in. Once we plug those in, I'm going to create an overview plan for you, which is going to be your calories in and cl uh, calories out. Um, you're going to have your measurements taken and all those things. And I want you to, of course, do your before photos. And this just gives me a great system for me to uh, track your progress over time. It's very graphical and it shows me exactly where we are in the process. So we can check in and I'll be coaching you throughout the year, giving you, giving you tips, helping you go forward with things. If you look at the overview here, I'm just going to click out of that. And the progress charts. I have a lot of progress charts here which I'm able to see where we started, the weight, the body fat percentage, and you know, it just goes down. I can also go by uh, weight goals. I can go by uh, food, logging, and everything like that. I can also see the activity charts here, right? And then steps. So I have a full suite of uh, tracking here to allow me to really help you get what you need out of this entire program. That's why DotFit is so powerful for the accountability part. See, we have the weigh-ins and body fat percentages here. That way, everything will be on point and you're going to get everything you need. The log here is to log your food. And you can either do this manually or you can use your Fitbit. Either way, um, basically, it's going to help me track the proteins, carbs, and fat, your macronutrients. So you would just click the plus sign here. You could search for a food. Let's say you had, uh, let's say you had chocolate cake. Hopefully you're honest. Chocolate cake. Let's say you wanted to search for that. You had some chocolate cake over the holidays. Come down here. You can see. Okay, you had the Kirkland. Or let's say just a chocolate brush fat chocolate fudge brownie at your holiday uh, feast. Click on that, you're gonna see that you had a chocolate fudge brownie and some champagne, 338 calories. Shows you the proteins, carbs, and fats right here. So that's a very powerful tool to help us with the tracking. See this graph here it helps me break it down over time. You can you can do uh, favorites, you can save your favorites. So if you have something that uh, is a favorite food, uh, favorite meal, custom meals, we can do that by just putting a plus sign by saving the favorites. So if you went to the back to the log here and you wanted to save something as a favorite, you go here and you would just click the star right here and that makes that a favorite. Hopefully chocolate cake isn't too much of your only favorite. <laughs> so you see here chocolate fudge brownie is your favorite there. Now, that, that's really nice because you, you can come back and, and choose the favorites and select them and things like that. Get them uh, integrated into your, uh, whatever your, your meal is for the day or week. We have meal, meals here, a lot of different varieties of meals. You have the heart-healthy, lactose-free, healthy fast food, vegetarian. 
um, you know, 40-30-30, which is 40% uh, carbs, 30% protein, 30% fat, standard, um, you know, the night out. So athletic performance. So if I was just to click on one of these, it kind of gives you a sample of a meal plan, right? It doesn't have to be followed exactly perfect, but at the end, you can see at least for me, I was uh, this plan was developed when I was gaining weight, so there was a lot of uh, calories involved. So your meal plans are going to be custom to whatever your weight and your body fat performance is, uh, body fat percentages, and your goals. We can also track water intake here. So you know you had your glass of water for the day. Oops, I'm sorry. You can click that. You had two. You had three, four, five. Or four glasses for the day, right? Or you can just click the plus sign right here to add how much water you have for the day. Really, really good. Okay, then you have the activity log. Where here we can just come here and we can search the activities. Uh, let's say you went running. Search running. Running cardio training. You did a little bit of running. How much, how many, did you go running for 30 minutes? Okay, great, save it. Okay, I'm just trying to show you that this doesn't have to be complicated. You, you lifted weights. You lifted weights. Oops. Lift weights. There you go, weightlifting. You did weightlifting for about, let's say, an hour. So weightlifting is going to have less direct calories burned immediately. I'm going to save that. And that just tracks what did you do for that day. Now we have a general idea. You're going to start seeing how many calories you burn versus how many calories that you consumed. Now, of course, the same thing here. We can do favorites. You like lifting. You like running. That's a favorite. We can save time. Boom. So that's going to be under your favorites here, lifting and running. Steps can also be logged through dot .fit. You have your devices, or you can just add, okay, you know, I did a thousand steps, because you may have had that tracked on one of your trackers or devices, and, you know, that, that all gets synced in, and there's also, those also um, very helpful tools here with the workouts, where what I can do is I, I can set up certain workouts for you, and I'm going to have some basic workouts for you that I'll just put in here. You can see the exact workouts. Everything that you need is here. This is a very complete, comprehensive system. All the reps, the details, the calendar, it's all there, right? So there's no excuses. And uh, yeah, then of course this is going to be like whatever your goal is, I'm going to have vital stats on your goal. We can always do a printout here. If you want to do a printout, you can come to the back here. You can print it out so you can have the meal plan. You can have that kind of stuff printed out. Right, so there's a lot of good good stuff there to make everything workable, and uh, all right. So then, as far as apps and devices, apps and devices. Let me just click that here. So let's say you have NetPulse, Fitbit, uh, you have the Jawbone, Microsoft Band, Embody. We can link all those devices up, and we can get you going. So everything is seamless here, and this is the perfect tool for our tracking accountability. All right, so that's it for Dot Fit. I'll talk to you soon.